Let's get our next guest out. He's been described as a talented Ray Quinn. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm delighted he's on the show. I I'm genuinely a fan of this guy. It's Mr Gareth Gates, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Good to be here. Thank you for coming on. Well, you know what, I'm thrilled you're here because when you were first on Pop Idol, I very much liked you. And then, of course, one of the things I suppose that, that marked you out, well, obviously you were talented, you're a good looking young guy, you had a good voice, but, but your stutter or your stammer, I'm not sure what the correct term for it is, uh, marked you out there. And I guess that's one of the reasons why you couldn't come on shows like this. And you now seem to have got over that completely. So, so what, what's happened? How's that been dealt with? I'm part of a speech therapy program called the Maguire program. And uh, yeah, it, it was very hard for me personally, and uh, no one's ever been able to relate Gareth Gates a singer with the personality because there's never, well, there's been a personality, um, but no one's ever been able to see that, and so there was always that void there. And uh, so I, I decided to join this program, and uh, it's, it's, it's really helped me. I'm, I'm now an instructor on the course. But it's incredible because you have no hint of a stutter now, and it was really pretty debilitating, wasn't it? It was a big, it was a big barrier for you, wasn't it? It was uh, really hard. I think growing up um, in school with the stammer, you know what kids are like, any sign of anything wrong with anybody, they really sort of capitalise on that. Tell me and, about uh, it. I've know, been through the same thing, not quite I as bad. I have a speech impediment, you have a speech impediment. What, 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 all the time at school? Yeah. What's the toss, they called me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where the second part came from. <laughs> um, you know what, here's the weird thing. I don't think we know that much about stammering and stuttering, mm. because, probably because the people have it can't get through a sentence yeah. to tell us, perhaps. No, exactly. But we don't know. I always assumed it was a psychological problem, but it isn't a psychological problem, is it? It's a physical well, thing, more often than not. Is that correct? Um, a stammer is made up of about 10% physical, not being able to get the words out, and 90% uh, psychological. So it's the build-up of fear or the build-up of negative associations, experiences in the past. Um, you know, like for instance, it might have started in, in the classroom where I'd have said maybe a word wrong and uh, a fellow classmate said, wait a minute, you've just said that wrong and so the next time you go and say that word, you're, you're like, last time advice. I said that it was wrong and, and it snowballs to other words and other situations. And so, you know, it, it was very difficult. My mum and dad, uh, bless them, they tried to, you know, Beat it out of you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which I believe is yeah. the first procedural step, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Sticks, electric shocks, that kind of thing. Yeah, and if it, that fails. It obviously didn't work. Uh, um, but no, it must be tough for those around you as well, I guess, especially mums and dads who don't want to see their kids, you know, going through this at school. It must be a pretty tough thing to witness for yeah, them as sure. well as for you to, to go through. Uh, as a stammer, you go through um, certain stages of using different tricks to try and get words out. And at, uh, at one point, uh, uh, I was making this sort of noise. It was like a. Um, that, so that was to help you build up to the yeah, word. Yeah, so, so it, it then, was a trick. So if I wanted so to say my name, you surprise the word. Exactly. So I go, Gareth, and uh, mum and dad uh, said I sounded a bit like Skipper the Bush Kangaroo. Well, that's <laughs> that's, that's that's sympathetic of them. Yeah, well, <laughs> and um, well, my my mum and dad tried to make sort of light heart of the yeah, situation, just so I won't get hung up. That's on understandable. It. And uh, but it was it was very funny. They um, uh, they said the local theatre is um, staging a production of Skipper the Bush Kangaroo. <laughs> and uh, you sound like Skipper the Bush Kangaroo. Um, why didn't you audition? I was like, and you know, I was very young. Oh, great, yeah. So I said, well, you know, you have to practice the sound. So I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> very good. Um, you know, but if, you, if you're auditioning, you have, to, uh, you have to do the moves as well. So I said, well, what's the move? So they showed me, and it was like, <laughs> so, well, you have to do the moves and the sound together. OK, so. And I was uh, the prize idiot every time family came round. Yeah. Gareth, why do you get up and do your skip with the bush kangaroo? The audition never what came. A, what, a lovely, <laughs> what a lovely family yeah. story. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I, I said confused. to mum and dad, uh, I will get you back for this. And now you've exposed them live on exactly. TV. Exactly, national television. Now, me and my mum and dad are the best people in the world. Uh, they just try to make light out of the situation. And I'm going to get my bottom smacked when I get home, I think. Is that part of the therapy, the whole thing? Say your name! Say your name! What's enough for Gareth? <laughs> you know, here's the weird thing, though. 
in a way, uh, and I don't know to what extent, but in a way, having uh, that particular impediment, having that stutter on Pop Idol, made you more memorable to people. You were not just a, another, you know, you had a great sure. voice and you were, you were very good looking. You've got pop star looks, which is obviously something which is a bonus. And, and you know, well, I'm sure I'm not the only one who was, and although I think Will Young is a very talented guy, but I assumed you were going to walk it. It seemed to me like you were easily going to win that competition. I did. <laughs> you did as well. <laughs> it seemed to me, what, what happened, do you think? Why did Will Young and you didn't? I know it's not necessarily something that you have control of, but, but uh, you, you know, were surprised. Will's a, Will's a great guy, and I'm, I'm, sh I'm sure you've met him. Uh, uh -huh. he's, uh, he's a fantastic guy, he has a, an amazing voice. Um, uh, if I'd have lost out to the Cheeky Girls, I'd have, I'd have questioned it, but, uh, you know, Will's, uh, Will is a, the nicest guy. Um, you've met and you know he has a fantastic voice and I think right from day one he's sort of known what sort of artist he wants to become and what sort of records uh, he wants to make whereas myself I was only 17 I didn't know yeah. what sort of artist I wanted to yeah, um, you know ultimately become. So the stuff you did straight after Pop Idol which was very accessory was that the kind of music you would have chosen for yourself or and is that the kind of music you want to continue making or was it not? Um, if I'm honest no um, it was the it was very much the label saying, there you go, Gareth, there's your next single. That will sell. We know people yeah, will buy you. And, singing. you know, I don't regret that because, as I said, I, I didn't know what sort of artist and what sort of records I wanted to make. And so um, I allowed them to craft and mold me into the artist that they wanted to market. And it, it worked at the time. I had, you know, a lot of success. It was Well, fantastic. when you had your number one, how old were you when you went to number one? Um, uh, 17. 17. I, I think I'm in the Guinness it? Book of Records for the... Uh, and that was for, oh, my love, I hunger for you <laughs> <laughs> that, that's one of my karaoke, that one. I'll stick to the singing, you stick to the speaking. F*** <laughs> off. <laughs> that was not perfect. <laughs> So what are you doing now then? Because uh, to, uh, and, but no, before we do, before I show you up to, uh, the stutter's gone then. Is it? Is there? No, well, do you worry that it would recur? That it will come back? Do you have to do anything to keep it away? What, what goes on? That's the thing. The, the stutter hasn't gone. Um, the Maguire program isn't a cure. It, it teaches you techniques that you can use, and we see it. We see speaking as a sport, and uh, where athletes are getting good at the sport of speaking, and and so um, you know the moment you don't start to do warm-ups and the exercises you're supposed to do, that's when you get a bit rusty. So you do practice and stuff, what, you practice words or you practice the ability to talk? What do you yeah, the, uh, the Maguire programme is based upon a, a breathing technique and so you have to get up on a morning, uh, 15 minutes, you know, do a good sort of breathing warm-up. So you do lots of breathing exercises? And yeah, like, and I mean, uh, these days I've become a little bit complacent. I think you uh, achieve a certain level of fluency and then you, you know, think, you I've think, got it, I've, I've got, got it. it, I've done it, uh, when really, you know, you haven't. And, and the, the moment you become complacent, that's when you start to have troubles. But I'm amazed at how comfortable you're here, because my worry was, genuinely, this was the worry, Gareth, I thought, what if he comes on the show and it's, uh, it's not a pleasant experience for you and there's an audience yeah. here and me grinning and gurning at your face and saying silly things, I was and what if we put you back? You know, and you leave here with the stunt again. I'd have felt awful about that. But it, uh, it would have been funny as well, obviously, but it would have been, I would have felt awful. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I'm glad it hasn't happened, and fingers crossed we, we'll make it to the end. Hopefully, yeah. Um, but, but is there a danger that something could trigger it off of that, do you think? Uh, I'll be totally honest, I was very, very nervous about this interview. Um, uh, this is the first ever interview that I've, I've uh, really given on a, on a chat show like this. Um, only because you guys demand to have the first interview. Yeah, we said we don't want you going anywhere else because we yeah. want to talk to you about this it, first because if, you, if it does come back, you'd be no good to us. Exactly. <laughs> 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 we don't want you coming on here stuttering for half an hour. The it's amount of... I'm getting to get the end of the story. I'll be honest with you. The amount of televisions we rejected to get on this show. Don't so f***ing go on about it. You're lucky wild. to be here, boy. What's going on? <laughs> No, I am very happy to be here and thank you for having me. I know, I'm joking uh, as well. Um, let, let's have, you know, do, do you uh, look back at clips of yourself when you had the start? Do you remember uh, how uh, different you were when, when you were talking?